All right, so today we are gonna start uh, framing out the skeleton that we talked about in our last video. And we're gonna try to start laying this out and I uh, have a feeling it's gonna be a lot of uh, measuring and remeasuring and cutting and recutting. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, start working on this. So here we go. Hey guys, well, we're working on the gargoyle project and you saw yesterday where we actually drew out his footprint, blew it up to roughly around the size of what we're looking for. Now we're gonna to try to figure out the ratio so that when we blow him up, hopefully we'll come up with the correct proportions. So I measured out his footprint here, and this is originally roughly about an inch and three quarters. Then what I did was I measured out what our initial footprint is on the foam that we ended up with that we liked. Our footprint to our actual new footprint ratio, it went from one and three quarters inches on the original guy, which is this guy here, to seven inches. So we come up to approximately four times as large as what we originally started with of the ratio. So for all of our other measurements, we'll increase it by four times the size so that hopefully we come up with the correct proportions for our cargo. So I went through and measured all of the skeletal purposes. So basically foot to elbow, elbow to shoulder, shoulder to hip. Went through all the measurements, measured this little guy out. Then what I did is I upsized it by our percentage that we figured out. So here's all the measurements. Okay, minor correction. So what we did was when we measured out the original, we did on the outsides. So now we went back and measured so that we go straight down, hopefully, the middle. Didn't quite look the same. <laughs> Once we've been uh, that, yeah. But see, this needs to be this needs to be more like this to go up here to get that height. Right. Well, see, this is kind of more along the lines of what it is. problem is here is this is not the right end of the wall. That is not a elbow. That is like see he's this needs to come down and this needs to be bent almost like that. You can't use these. It's, it's too much not enough of a bend. This has to this has to be an actual piece of the bend. I think, yeah, these I think are a little bit shorter. I traded these out for some shorter. Let's see if this is easier. Yeah, I think if we shorten these down, lower them down a little bit more. Yeah, let's see this. See this here? This elbow needs to come down needs to be down here going like that so this is where this this piece here ain't working to see the distance here between here and here that's supposed to be coming down here Thank you. 
So basically right here, we needed to make sure that this was going, we couldn't do a 45 and we couldn't do a 90 because it's not doing that. He's, he's not doing a 45 or a 90 right here. He's coming out past his knee here. So I needed to make sure that his knee is right here. I needed to make sure that this bottom of his elbow right back here was beyond that point. So that's what we were making that change. So here is our beginning attempt. I told you this was going to be a work in progress, but I'm um, looking at our prototype here and I see where we're gone wrong so far, uh, what we need to fix. The backbone is not going down to enough of a curve because he's sitting pretty much on his butt and we've got his butt way the hell up here. We need to get his butt all the way down here. So we gotta get this backbone curved down. Once we do that, then we can get his legs. See his legs here, it's too, it's too much of an angle there. That's not right. He's got his legs pretty much just coming right down on top of the other one. Now obviously, this is the inner skeleton and he's gonna have his meat, which is gonna be the foam, but we still need to get that right shape. But we need to get this coming back down this way. Once we get that lowered here, then I think we're going to be getting a lot closer. The thing, I'm, the things I'm really trying to pay attention to is when I'm looking at the sculpture here, his knees are inside of his elbows. So I need to get these knees butt down and then the knees got to be inside of the elbow. And if I'm looking at kind of where his elbows go out, if you can kind of see there, they go out a little further. Now that's an exact blow up of the footprint so we got to stay within that footprint but uh, we've got to make sure that uh, we stay within the footprint but we've got to make sure that we um, get the, the look of it right and then once we figure it out then what we need to do is pretty much take all the measurements and do all the same bends because we're gonna make two of these guys right. good take her apart we're gonna try and fix that bin, guys. See if we can get that. I'm trying to get that more of that angle. Should I cut some of this and shift it this way a little bit? Okay, so now the problem we've got his butt down a little lower and we got that one leg well, bent. <clears throat> But now we're kind of noticing that he might be out beyond his feet here a little bit too much. So we're thinking we might need to take off a little piece here. Try and bend 
this one, so we can get this one. That's what the other one's at. Heat that up and put it down further rather than cutting it. But look at this one. Look at this angle here and look at this. It's not exactly right. Close. Okay, here he is. He's all cut out. It took us quite a while. As you can see, it's dark now. But we've got him in the shape and form. Put him right there. <laughs> we've been basically moving that thing around and measuring it and trying to get as much of that profile down as possible between his arms and his legs and the backbone. And we think we're kind of close right there. We ended up taking out a lot of the connections and ended up uh, just bending it with the heat gun to get a lot of it. But uh, that's the uh, skeletal of it. Now the fun part is we get to make a second one because we need two of these guys. <laughs> so Wish why don't? Luck. <clears throat> yeah. The 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 thing that we kind of ran into is when we enlarged it you know you guys watched us do the enlargement part of it we um thought we had the footprint down pretty good but if you can see right here the footprint is in front of where the feet are actually going to end up lining up and we fought and fought and fought and fought and we're just going to basically make him a little bigger um Hopefully that doesn't bite us in the butt down the road, but we're basically just going to take this part here where his feet are. We're just going to move it back here. We still got some room back here on our, excuse me, on our foam. So hopefully that's going to work. So we're about to try to recreate building a second one. Gargoyle number two.
right, guys. So we got two of the skeletons made. And uh, let me tell you, it took us damn near all day long to get these done. We started off, as you will see probably in the video, um, with all the different PVC connections and it just wasn't working out. So we ended up having to just heat with the uh, good old heat gun here, right there. Mary's got this fancy Ryobi heat gun that works awesome. And uh, it was just trial and error to try to bend and, and uh, you know, heat them and bend them, heat them and bend them. And we tried using the template of each other and it seemed like that kind of screwed us up. So we sat there with the little guy, the little statue, and we tried to match all the angles, you know, the best we could. So I don't know. We'll see how it turns out. But uh, that was uh, the first real day of construction on this, and it pretty much took all day long. It's sad to say that it really took all day long to make those two damn things. And then there was a few discussions between Mary and I <laughs> about how to do it. She had her way to do it, and I had my way to do it. And it was kind of a compromise between the two of us, would you say? Mm-hmm. She ain't saying, guys. Come on, say something. Artistic versus technical, you can quite imagine. <laughs> yes, I was trying to do everything by measurement. And, um, you know, the heat gun doesn't like measurements, I guess you could say. You can put a mark there, and it doesn't matter how hard you try to bend it the same way. I mean, we went through, we've got at least three or four pieces like this that you know we thought looked good and then we started working on them and yeah it was a mess so anyway that's where we're at so uh next step is to start uh cutting out foam pieces and uh start building the body all right guys later <laughs>